welcome back guys. In this video, we're given a function f of x is ax plus b over cx plus d. And we have to find an equation for the inverse. So like usual, what we want to do for f of x, we want to plug in a y. So we got y is equal to ax plus b over cx plus d. And then what we want to do is we want to switch the x and y's. But notice that there's two x's here. So for both of these x's, we're going to plug in a y. So this y turns into an x, then we got ay plus b over cy plus d. Now we got to isolate for this y here. The way you want to do that is you want to cross multiply. So 1 times ay plus b is just ay plus b equals x bracket cy plus d. So this times that. And we're multiplying it by that whole expression, so it has to be in brackets there. So from here, what you want to do is you want to distribute the x inside the bracket. So we would end up with uh, cxy plus uh, xd. And then over here on the, right, uh, on the left side is still ay plus b. And then what you want to do is you want to get all of the expressions that have a y attached to them on one side and then the rest on the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the cxy over and I'm going to bring the b over. So basically I got ay minus cxy is equal to xd minus b. So continuing this up here, what we can do now is we can um, factor out a y from both of these expressions on the left side. So we'll have taking out a y, we'll be left with a minus cx equals xd minus b. And now it's easy to isolate for the y. We just divide both sides by a minus cx. All right, so basically what we did was we cross multiplied here. And then you want to expand. And then you want to get all of the expressions with y on one side so you could factor it out as just one variable. And then divide both sides by that bracket. And that there is your inverse. We isolated for the y. Notice that everything is in terms of x. So we could rewrite this as f of negative 1x is equal to xd minus b all over a minus cx. So whenever you're given a function with two x variables, and then you're finding the inverse, you get two y variables. Usually what you want to do, cross multiply stuff. And then you can uh, you could isolate for that y by bringing everything over to one side. So that there is your final answer.